Welcome to our YouTube channel dedicated to exploring the latest insights and opportunities in the world of finance and investments with a special focus on currency revaluation, gold and silver investments, cryptocurrency and make money online opportunities and more. If you're interested in staying up to date on the latest developments in currency revaluation, particularly the Iraq dinar and other currencies, best to subscribe to this channel. Please note that the content on this YouTube channel is for informational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. We are not licensed financial advisors, and the opinions expressed on this channel are based on our own research and personal experience. We strongly recommend that you do your own research and consult with a licensed financial advisor. Also, just before we go any further, this channel has a weekly giveaway of 100 Dogecoin. To enter, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel like this video and watch this video until the end because if you don't you will be automatically disqualified from the giveaway we will be sharing the random hashtag keyword daily somewhere in the video and then comment hashtag the keyword with no spaces in between in the comment section good luck now let's proceed with the latest direct in our news and until today please take these information with a grain of salt and please make sure to do your own due diligence from News Hound, Intel Guru Mountain Goat, article, Iraq's financial revenues exceed 11 trillion dinars within a month. Yes, even in a rentier oil economy, the Iraqi dinar can still maintain a realistic rate of at least $3 or more. From Intel Guru Mark Z via PDK, Sudanese travels are very interesting here in the US. He is going to Texas where the CBI keeps servers, and he is going to Michigan where there is a large population of Iraqis there dispelled from the war. And also in Dearborn, they will be adding a Warka Bank location to handle exchanges for Iraqis in Michigan. Sudani traveling to Texas, and Michigan is big. He is also going to California. I am hearing he is to meet with someone named Robert, who is a signatory for Chinese banking elders. This is very interesting, what we are watching. Sudani has 130 people with him, a huge entourage, including many important people from the finance ministry and the CBI. Things are looking positive for the next week. From Intel Guru Frank 26, there are many chief executive officers of many banks around the world at the US Treasury meeting right now with Sudani, Alak, and Barzani. Also, CEOs of CD Bank, Chase Bank, and Bank of America are there. We also have all of the JP Morgan representatives, Merrill Lynch, all investment companies you can think of. All of them are meeting. The meetings are going on now. This Iraqi entourage is here in the United States to meet with their counterparts. From Newshound Guru Claire, article, Prime Minister Mohammed Shia al-Sudani met this Monday evening with U.S. President Joseph Biden at the White House in Washington, D.C. Al-Sudani said during the meeting, We are working to move from the military relationship to a full partnership with the United States. From Newshound Guru Militia Man, al-Sudani's visit to the White House, we know he's already done that. They brought about 130 different people with them. I think they said three planes worth. That large motorcade yesterday in WDC was so very telling and just how important today and tomorrow will be. If you are not excited by now, wake up. From Newshound Guru Sandy Ingram, Al Sudani met with the Iraqi community in Washington, D.C. and other American states on the sidelines of his official visit to the United States. Al Sudani conveyed gratitude to the Iraqi communities in the US and throughout the world, emphasizing that Iraq is for all Iraqis and that the country needs the knowledge, experiences, opportunities, and initiatives of Iraqis in the US. The Prime Minister indicated the Iraqi government is working on establishing a department for expatriate affairs to be able to communicate effectively with the Iraqi community around the world. From Intel Guru Mark Z via PDK, question, do you think RV in April, Mark? I think April is still well within the sights and is the goal. I am still being told that and I believe it. From News Hound, Intel Guru Walking Stick, Walking Stick's former Iraqi bank partner number one update, number one is with Sudani. That's why number one is in DC right now. He owns six banks and four of them are in Iraq. Those banks are playing a part of the monetary reform inside of Iraq. Also, outside with the private bank satellite banks that are representing the Central Bank of Iraq. They're going to Michigan because a key is in Michigan. 
from Intel Guru Frank 26. We are now in position, in my opinion, that the banks that are going to exchange the Iraqi dinar are now on alert. From Guru Nader from the Mideast, I believe it's going to happen. I believe it's going to change. I believe it's going to change, happen when it's ready to happen. That's it. When you see the coalition leave, the government of Iraq sovereign and nobody control it. And when you see a new dinar, that's when the exchange rate will change. Simple as that. From News Hound, Intel Guru FNULNU, the United States will not, repeat, will not be leaving Iraq now or in the future. A power vacuum will be filled by Iran and only a fool would want the US to leave Iraq. From Intel Guru Mark Z via PDK, the group leaders I know are under a blackout and will not share. I think this is a very good sign. We need at least a third to a half of historic bonds paid before we go. So my logical mind is saying the 22nd is the soonest we could see something. I could be wrong and it could absolutely go anytime, even in the next two minutes. And it would not surprise me. From Newshound Guru Claire, Article 1, Kurdish MP, Sudanese success in the dollar crisis is the most important step in his visit to Washington. Article 2, Alawi, the Prime Minister's dialogues with the U.S. Treasury will address the government's steps in financial reform. From Newshound Guru Militia Man, the final provisions of the SFA are on the table. Security is set. The economic aspect is underway. We're going to watch El Sudani finish up his signing of contracts. I can't imagine. How are you going to fund all this with an exchange rate of 1310 Iraqi dinar to the USD? And how is it that, that you've said the Iraqi dinar, Mr. Al Sudani, is stronger than the dollar? Before ending with the last update, the hashtag keyword for the 100 Dogecoin giveaway is community. You can be the lucky winner if you like, subscribe, and watch the main content of this video. This will be for this coming Sunday's giveaway, and the winner will be announced in one of the Sunday's videos so you do not want to miss it. And finally, the last update is from Intel Guru Frank 26. Both Abadi and Maliki were both turned down by the presidents of the United States of America in Washington, D.C. Abadi was treated like a fool by Obama. The very same thing happened to Maliki. This time it is a different story. It is a historical event. That's all for the latest updates on the Iraq Dinar. What are your thoughts of all the articles or news coming from Iraq and opinions from these Intel providers? Moreover, we posted an important news article video yesterday. In a pivotal move, Iraq's Prime Minister Mohammed Shia al Sudani embarks on a visit to Washington, D.C., aiming to elevate the economic partnership between Iraq and the United States to new heights. This visit holds crucial implications for Iraq's economic and monetary reform agenda. We dissected the details of this significant development and its potential impact on Iraq's currency reform. Please go ahead and check it out by clicking on the link on the top right of this video, as you don't want to miss this. Lastly, we will continue to post videos about the recent events and articles supporting the changes taking place in Iraq so you don't want to miss them. Also, don't forget, please drop a comment below with hashtag and the keyword and let us know what you think. If you like this content and like to support this channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you get notified when new videos are uploaded. See you on the next video. Bye.